Hello again, welcome back. This is the Kerbal Space Program. We are doing a tutorial of C7 Studios Flight Pack, a pack of modded parts for the game. Um, this, in this tutorial, what we're going to do, let's load this thing, we're going to take the same aircraft we made a couple times ago, made, made last time, which I named Trainer 2, and using this aircraft, we're going to learn how to make it into a vertical takeoff and landing using, over here in the in the command and control tab, C7's uh, RCS thruster ports. Okay. Oh, by the way, the, the problem with the landing gear from, from the last tutorial, yeah, here, take, take the landing gear, put them out at the wingtips, take the nose gear, and put it uh, so it's attached to the fuel tank, so it's behind these two RCS tanks and the, the SAS. Um, yeah, I moved it there, and the thing lands with no problems. I, I should have remembered that before I did the first one, but hey, you know, it's the Kerbal way, is to just <laughs> try it over and over again until you find how it works. Okay, uh, using the RCS thruster ports to make this vertical takeoff and landing, C7's uh, thrust RCS thrusters work a little bit differently from the ones that come with the game. These, you can see these stock, the RCS thruster blocks. They've got these things, they squirt in, this one block will, will thrust, it'll squirt, it'll thrust in four different directions. However, C7's, parts, each one of these will only thrust in one particular direction. So if we want to have a... This, this actually gives you more flexibility in, in, in the long run if, say, you can... because you can balance how much thrust you want in any particular direction for if you have, end up having a vehicle that's an unusual shape. Okay, so we want this thing to be doing like the Harrier jump jet. We want this thing to be doing vertical takeoff and landing. So, first thing I want here, these RCS heavy L, heavy lift. These are the ones which, uh, these, these RCS thrusters have significantly more power, more thrust than the others. Uh, these are the ones that should be strong enough to lift an aircraft off of the ground. So I'm going to take one here. I'm going to put it up front. Oh, probably right about there. I'll take another one. I'll put it in back. It's kind of like the if the center of gravity here is in the middle of the airplane. We want to have lift at both ends, so that you know it won't. It'll be steady. Just think of you know two two guys lifting one heavy object. You're going to lift at both ends, and also I'm going to. I think the center of gravity, the center of mass for this vehicle will be right around here. I'm going to put a third one right there. Okay, that, in theory, that should be enough to lift the airplane off the ground. But I, that's not all I want to do with these RCS thrusters. I also want to, if I take this thing into space, I want to be able to use the RCS thrusters to change its attitude and to translate uh, right and left, forward and back. So let's just go ahead and get the rest of this set up. RCS port, linear, these things... Uh, thrust just straight out from the vehicle. I'll put one here to uh, in the opposite direction from that heavy port in the bottom. Anyway, let's make those. Let's line them up all nice like that. Doesn't really matter. They don't have to be perfectly lined up. But just as a matter of fact, this, this isn't going to be lined up over here. I'll put it right about there. Let's move that one back. Close enough. Close enough for me. Okay, so with the, with the RCS thrusters, if you if you ever get confused as to what direction they're going to thrust, me, you can just zoom in and look at them. And here, that one, see the thruster, that one points straight out. So that particular thruster is going to push the tail down. This one up here, that's going to push the nose down. So just with these thrusters that I already have on here, this, uh, I have enough that I could pitch up, I can pitch down, uh, and as well as I can translate up and translate down. Let's do some more here. Uh, say if I want to have some retro thrusters, I want to be able to uh, back up or slow down my forward movement. So you zoom in and, and take a look at the retro thruster. Hey, retro, it means it points forward. So I'll tell you what, I will put two of those here. 
put one on one on each side so that the the push will be uh, smooth. It's, I've got push happening, uh, thrust happening on uh, both sides of the the center of mass, which should help it help uh, stop any unwanted rotation. All right, same story with this these ports for pushing the thing forward. Okay, what else do we have in here? So, so now, yeah, so now I can pitch up, I can pitch down, I can translate up, I can translate down, and I can also translate forward and back. Now I have, let's go ahead and just put a left and right thruster on each one of these. There's a left, there's a right, it's okay if it kind of clips into the model. You can see the ports. Yeah, that one points that direction. That one points to the left. Let's put a right and the left and the other one. And I'll go all the way down to the bottom and repeat. There's a left. There's a right. There's a left. There's a right. It's okay if they they don't they don't hurt anything by kind of clipping together. Did I miss this one? Okay, so I got the top, I got the bottom. Yeah, there's the top, and there's the bottom. Yep, that should work. I suppose I, I could move this up there and line it up with, with the other ones, huh? But I kinda like it where it is. All right, let's fly, see how well this works. All right, but now you know the drill. Throttle up, precision control on, pitch forward, start to pick up some speed, throttle back. And let's go land this airplane over here. Throttle back some more. And still the same goal, I wanna get this thing below 50 meters per second already below 60. I'm just pitching back and whenever the nose starts to rise a little bit too much I release so and then I pitch back a little bit more and allow it to contact the ground. Okay. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind when you're using these RCS ports, look at how much that landing gear wobbles as, as this thing is coming to a stop. So that central RCS port, I wouldn't want to move it very far forward because that landing gear will shake backwards and it'll, it'll hit that RCS port and then something will explode. It'll break. Okay, turn RCS on. What happens if I just thrust straight up? It does not lift off. <laughs> You know what? It's because this airplane is massive. It's, you know, I deliberately made it big so it'd be stable and easy to fly. Okay, trial and error, folks. Let's go back. Back to vehicle assembly building. If you, if you, if you played Kerbal, you know how this works. Just keep on fiddling around with stuff. Trial and error. Change. If it doesn't work the first time, change something. Okay, tell you what. Let's add two more of these heavy ports Moving forward okay so now it's got a total of five of the the heavy lifters here we go again let me fast forward this we're not just watching exactly the same landing over and over and over again. If you want, you can turn the RCS thrusters on. You can do some retro thrusting. Actually, I think with as heavy as this aircraft is, with just two of those retro thrusters on there, eh, I don't know if it actually slows it down measurably, but you know, it's fun to try. Okay. So now we've got five down there. Let's thrust upward. You know, it's you can see it taking some of that weight. 
I, I can move it. I can I can yaw left. I can yaw right. Pitch up, pitch down. Oh, hey. You know what? It's just not... It just doesn't quite have enough lift, does it? Almost. All right. Trial it and error. Try it. If, if it doesn't work, try to change something. Do it over. Let's put two more in here. So I'm going to put one right there. And I'll put another one in front of landing gear. Okay, throttling up. I'm really not certain how many thrusters it'll take for this large aircraft. When I was trying this out earlier, I was I had a much smaller plane that I was, I was making it work with. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not real pro with the the with the vertical takeoff and landing. I haven't done that in this game all that much. I much my own personal inclinations. I prefer the airplane style, the gliding to a landing, so I just I just haven't played around with the vertical takeoff my own self. I know how it works, but <laughs> just haven't done it a whole lot. But yeah, get, we'll get this one working. Okay, let's get it below 50, please. There's 50. Yep, there's a landing. Let's do some retro thrusting. Slow it on down. Whoa, airplane, whoa. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Okay, RCS is on. Let's go ahead and thrust upwards. And there's a takeoff. Okay, it's wanting to pitch up some. Let's go ahead and set her back down. Boom! It's, I'm, uh, it is tricky. Once the thing gets vertical takeoff, um, and it's not perfectly, perfectly balanced on its thrust, the, the airplane does want to slide around. It wants to skate to the left. It wants to skate to the right. It's, uh, you have to, to be, be tapping, mashing on, on the keys pretty quickly. But, yeah, it works. I think he's on trying to want to move backwards. <laughs> well, that was an ugly landing. Okay. So there it is. There, there, there is an airplane that'll take off. Here, let's just do it this way. Mission accomplished, guys. Okay. Well, that, well, that's it. That's that is what you need to know. Put, uh, put the. You know, you need a, a cluster of the of the of the RCS ports at each end in order to support the weight from each end, and you know, need to add the heavy heavy ports and balance them out until you get a, a nice stable lift along the entire length of your vehicle. And just take it easy and be careful. So, hey, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you later. Hang on, hang on. We're not done yet. I just realized that I forgot to do the. A, a vertical landing for after, after forward flight. So here we are. Yeah, we just keep on slowing down like like normal. Let it drop down. Say if we get within. Remember the the ground here is about fifty something meters. So I want to get it below, say a hundred meters. And I'll start doing some retro thrusting. I'm just thrusting backwards at the moment. Seeing the surface speed is actually very slow. Thirty five. And as that ground I keep on retro thrusting, let's pitch up and start just hitting the hitting thrusting upwards for small small taps. See if I can do this without breaking anything. I've practiced a little bit, but again, I am not a pro at this. Still, just holding the 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 retro thrust down, pitching back and hitting upwards, translating upwards for little taps at a time, slowly, gently, see if we can kill that forward momentum, pitch forward, pitch forward, pitch forward, oh, oh, <laughs> you know, 
I like it. It's Kerbal. It's the Kerbal way to be. But yeah, I, 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 you, saw, you saw the concept. That's basically how it's supposed to work, except, you know, more gentle. <laughs> Maybe make a smaller airplane. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.